say in the International Rescue Committee's case, it's, it's the opportunity to give the refugees themselves a voice. And video is just such a powerful tool for storytelling. Um, we try to use it as much as we can. It's, it's better than you know, however many feature stories we want to write for our website, press releases, and video releases. Yeah, I, I would say the same thing for Oxfam. We deal with a lot of very complicated issues, uh, you know, trade policies. Uh, you know, the, the issue with the Starbucks and the Ethiopian farmers was a very difficult thing to explain to a general audience. And video really gives us the opportunity to present it in, in a visual setting, which people really like anyways. Uh, and it makes it a lot easier than having them read through, you know, a web, web story that's, you know, a couple pages long or even an email. It's really hard to explain in two paragraphs what you're trying to do. But in a two to three minute video, you can really get a lot of, a lot of your message across. And for us, it's been, you know, not just putting our videos out there and, and letting people kind of stumble upon it when they're um, searching for pet-related videos, which a lot of people do, um, but really giving, uh, like our user-generated uh, portion that we use YouTube for has been really uh, powerful for us because we're giving people a voice. They're able to talk about issues that um, relate are related to them and their pets. Um, they're able to, you know, really express themselves in a way that a Q&A on our website is great, but people are very visual. We're a very visual organization, um, whether it's video or it's a slideshow to music that we put on YouTube. I think, you know, you, you don't even have to have that, you know, video stream all the time. You can put together a montage of, of just really powerful photos, which I'm sure we all have. Um, and it's, it's, you know, it's really easy to do. Okay. And yeah, just to back up what Carrie's saying, I think the more that you can make your supporters into content creators, that's not just where they're not just, you know, the, your audience, but they're also, you're empowering them to actually t have ownership in your organization. I think YouTube's great for that. And a lot of organizations, I think we're going to start seeing kind of getting on that bandwagon where it becomes more of a two-way discussion.